The Lafayette City Council is honoring a trailblazer in local politics, a trailblazer whose influence is still felt today. Tonight, I just want to thank him for his leadership and what he's not only done for the state, but the city of Lafayette. That state representative, Vincent Pierre, thanking his uncle, Wilfred Pierre. Wilfred received the Lafayette City Council's Trailblazer Award during Tuesday night's meeting. Very grateful. Uh, I keep saying that over and over again, but I'm appreciative. Wilfred Pierre was Lafayette's first black city councilman. He served in that role from 1976 to 1990. After that, he represented Lafayette's north side in the state house for 16 years. You know, you have to appreciate the opportunity that was given to me by uh, the people of Lafayette. And I will always be grateful. Uh, I enjoyed serving. Uh, It's uh, a great gesture, a great feeling. Pierre paved the way for other black men to serve in local politics. Among them, his nephew, Vincent. It was always able to pave the way for the things that I had to face in the state capitol. Uh, Great things. He was able to make contacts with people uh, that allowed me to do the the great things that we were able to do in our city. But as a young kid, I was always admired of how he handled himself around the 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 people in the public, along with uh, as a legislator and as a a leader. And that indeed inspired me to do the things that we're trying to do in this city. City Councilman Pat Lewis grew up around the Pierre family. Lewis says Wilfred Pierre served not only as a role model, but as a father figure. He would make sure that I was doing the right thing. You know, so that he had a big impact on uh, I remember one time that he uh, gave me an application to apply for a job when he was a city councilman. He also helped me get my first job on, on USL campus, a uh, student at UL, USL at the time. Lewis also says Pierre's work in City Hall and at the state capitol had a positive impact not only on the north side, but on the city as a whole. When he became uh, the first black uh, elected city councilman, that was a big impact for the whole community. And again, but that underpass on university under the railroad track, that was very helpful for the people that live on the north side of town trying to get to the hospitals like the General Hospital, the Charity Hospital, the Lewis Hospital, or just going to USL. Uh, That was a big thing for uh, the citizens on the north side. Vincent Pierre says he hopes this presentation will spur the city's current leaders to do right by their constituents. I thought that this was a very fitting time. Wilfred has worked real hard on, on the things that the great things that have happened in this city, and uh, uh, we, hopefully we can move in that same direction. We can have a, uh, a group of individuals that will work together across party lines to get things done for our city. Wilfred Pierre says for that to happen, more people need to make their voices heard in the political process. Well, I think more involvement. I think people need to get more involved uh, and, and, and participate a little bit more. I think that's lacking. Uh, I, I don't see the involvement as much as I would, you know, would have liked to see it. For Councilman Pat Lewis, he hopes he can make his mentor proud. Well, he has a big shoe to fill. I just like to come close to it. And, of course, Wilfred Pierre, we were talking off air, one of the nicest men in politics then and now. And I asked him if he missed politics. He said he did because he enjoyed it. He enjoyed meeting the people that were involved. I also spoke with Pat Lewis, and one of the notes that Pat said that we weren't able to include in the interview, and I found this amazing, from the time that he ran for student council in high school up until he retired, Wilfred never lost a race. He never lost an election. And that goes to show you that personality, being personable, and being nice actually does go a long way (laughs) in the business of politics. And I don't say that as a joke. It's true. You Mm -hmm. look at Wilfred Pierre. You look at Vincent Pierre. Pat Lewis, and the list goes on and on of a number of people in local and state politics from this area. You may not agree with everything they say or do, but they're nice people. And at the end of the day, they have the common goal of serving the people. And that's one of the big takeaways from last night. Wilfred Pierre was a man of the people who loved the people and wanted to serve the people. Congratulations to him. Uh, an honor certainly well-deserved. You're up to date. Ian Ozan, News Talk 96.5 KPEL.